Oke okay guys, this is your new chapter. It is called trigonometry. So trigonometry is the branch of mathematics dealing with the relations of the sides and angles in triangles and with the relevant function of any angles. Trigonometry in real life, uh, the application will be in oceanography, yeah, for calculating the height of the tides in oceans. Uh, the sine and cosine function is the fundamental theory of periodic functions in physics of the sound and light waves. And then calculus, calculus is made up of trigonometry and algebra. So the trigonometry will be one of the branch of calculus. Trigonometry can be used to roof a house to make the roof incline and the height of the roof in buildings, etc. So this is um, uh, apa namanya architecture, ya. Yeah. It is used naval and avi aviation industries. This is for planes and then cartography maps and then satellite system um, astronomy yeah so this is the usage of trigonometry in real life before we go to trigonometry I want to teach you how to convert the unit of angles okay so we know that one circle equals to 360 degrees so I can tell that one rotation equals to 360 degree and then I have another unit for angle which is minutes this minutes is different with the time minutes yeah so don't relate the time with the angle yeah it's different the word is the same but the meaning is different okay so one degree equals to 60 minutes minutes is uh, one accent right here and then we have also seconds these seconds also different with the time seconds so don't relate them so one minute equals to 60 seconds second uh, is uh, two kutips right here right there okay and then I have half circle half circle equal to 180 degree and then one cir uh, half circle also uh, equals to pi radian as the angle yeah so we have the third units of angle which is radian so how to convert degree to radian as we can see half angle half circle this is half circle equals to 180 this is half circle equals to pi so i can tell that 180 degree equals to pi radian and then one degree equals to 0 0.017 radian because we don't uh, allow to use calculator so we use this instead of this yeah example one convert the angle units of 125 degree 30 minutes and 45 seconds okay so we already have the conversion units one degree equals to 60 minutes and then one minute equals to 60 seconds now we have to change this 125 degree 30 minutes and 45 seconds into only degree yeah so I will separate the questions the questions uh, show us that 125 degree 30 minutes and 45 seconds okay so for the degree is already degree so I will rewrite the numbers 125 degree and then I have to change this minute into degree yeah so one degree equals to 60 minutes so to change this minutes into degree you have to divide by 60 minutes and then times it what with one degree yeah it will be 0 0.5 degree and then for 45 seconds 45 seconds we convert it into the minute first so it will be divided by 60 minutes and then we have to convert it again to the degree so divide again with 60 degree yeah, times 1 degree equals to this is 0 0.0125 degree so the total of the degree will be to add them together 125.5125 degree this is the answer yeah okay now you can change the minutes and seconds into degree next is b 125.5 point five four five seven five degree you have to change it into degree minutes and seconds yeah how to do this okay first we have to split up the degree 
we have 125.4575 degree we have to split them up into 125 degree plus 0.4575 degree okay so uh, the decimals yeah we can change it into minute first so we will leave the degree 125 degree leave it like that and then we can change these decimals of degree into minutes yeah so 0.4575 to change it into minutes you have to times it with 60 minutes guys it will be equals to 125 degree plus how much wait 0.4575 times 60 equals to 27.45 minutes guys okay it's already minutes but we still have decimal place right there we can change it into seconds so i will separate them into 27 minutes plus 0.45 minutes and then for the decimals we can change into seconds by multiplying the it with 60 seconds because one minute equal to 60 seconds plus 27 degree this one will be also 27 uh, seconds yeah okay so the answer will be equals to 125 degree 27 minutes and 27 seconds that is how to convert degree to minutes and second okay the next one is C 150 degree equals to how much radian yeah so I will uh, teach you the two methods to find to convert the degree to radian yeah the first one is using the conversion units by radian so you write the conversion units and then you use uh, ratios so the question is 150 degree we write 150 degree below the uh, 180 degree yeah <clears throat> and then for the radian will be x uh, you have to cross multiply it 180 degree x equals to 150 pi 150 pi so x will be 150 pi over 180 radian yeah so the x will be divided by 30 5 over 6 pi radian so the answer is 5 over 6 pi the second method is uh, we using um, the elementary method yeah so the radian will be 150 degree over the given one 180 degree times pi radian you can do this also okay so divide by 30 5 over pi uh, 5 over 6 pi radian same answer different method yeah up to you uh, do you want to use the first or the second next is 3 over 4 pi radian equals to blah 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 degree this one also has two methods the first method is the ratio method um, 180 degree equals to pi radian so you have to write the 3 over pi 3 over 4 pi below the pi radian this one will be x cross multiply pi x equals to 3 over 4 times 180 equals to 135 pi you can cross out the pi also pi and pi so x will be 135 degree or the second method will be like this 3 over 4 pi radian we also know that pi is 180 degree so you can change the pi into 180 degree equals to 135 degree up to you yeah okay the next is 0.75 radian uh, for this one I want to use the ratio method 180 degree equals to pi radian and then the below is 0.75 degree as 0.75 radian equals to x degree cross multiply 180 times 0. 75 times 180 equals to 135 so I have pi x equals to 135 degree and then x will be 135 degree over pi yeah. to make it decimals you can use the 
3.14 SPI 3.14 SPI for this one ya 135 divided by pi equals to 43 degree okay, so X will be 43 degree that is the units of um, angles ya guys so you have to master it all Okay, the next is trigonometry ratios in a right triangle. So we will talk about right triangle right now, yeah. Uh, right triangle is like this. So we have right triangle right here, right triangle. As we know that the oppo the opposite sides of right triangle will be hypotenuse sides, yeah. So this one will be hypotenuse side, right? And then the opposite of the angle, yeah. Now we have one of the angle of the triangle called opposite sides yeah so this one is opposite sides that one is hypotenuse sides and the rest will be adjacent sides adjacent sides okay so this is the uh, triangle yeah in this triangle we have three main trigonometry ratios which is sine cosine and tangent this is sine alpha cos alpha tan alpha so if you write trigonometry ratios you have to put uh, the angles behind the trigonometry ratios yeah so you will write sine alpha you cannot only write side yeah sine alpha equals to the formula will be opposite over hypotenuse so sine alpha is the ratio of opposite sides over hypotenuse side one more time the ratio guys the ratio not the actual length okay So sine alpha equals to opposite. Opposite I will call it the, and then the hypotenuse I will call it me ya. Yeah. Depan miring. We will use Indonesia because Indonesia language because uh, you will interact with regular students. Regular students will say demi, and you will know what is the meaning of demi ya. Yeah. Cos alpha. Cos alpha equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. So it will be the ratio between sami. And then tan alpha equals to opposite over adjacent. It will be the ratio of the pan per samping desa. Next is the additional trigonometry ratio, which is cosecan, secan, and cotangent. CSC alpha equals to mide, secan alpha equals to misa, cotangan alpha equals to sade. Oke, okay, we'll go to the example one. Find the trigonometry ratio for the right triangle below. Oke, okay, before you answer the questions, the question one has to find the trigonometry ratio. You must do something for each of the questions that you will face. Ya, yeah? so the first step will be uh, name the sides. Oke, okay? so this is the angle of alpha. I will go to the opposite of the angle. And I'll call it opposite side, ya. Yeah. Or in Indonesia, I will uh, call it the depan, the. And then for hypotenuse, hypotenuse is sisi miring, sisi miring is this one. So I will call it mi. And then the rest will be sa, ya. Yeah. Depan, miring, samping. Oke. Okay. And then I can uh, find the length of the AC using Pythagoras. So it will be a square plus b square equals to c square. The a square will be 4 square plus 3 square equals to c square is a c square. So I will get a c equals to square root of 25. So a c will be 5. Or maybe you still remember what is um, triple Pythagoras, right? Is 3, 4, and 5. So I can tell that the mirroring sides will be 5. And then the question one us to find the trigonometry ratio. Let's find it. The first one is sine alpha. Sine alpha is demi. Demi means the pan 3 mirroring is 5. Yeah, so 3 over 5. And then cos alpha. Cos alpha will be sami samping per mirroring equals to 4 cm over 5 cm. And then for tan alpha, tan alpha equals to desa the pan per samping the is 3 samping is Uh, four. This is the main trigonometry ratio, and then the additional will be cosecan uh, alpha equals to the opposite of sine mide. It will be 5 over 3 and then um, second alpha, second alpha, the opposite of cos, it will be misa 
equals to 5 over 4 and then the last one is the opposite of cotangent uh, sorry the opposite of tangent is cotangent alpha equals to sade ya sade equals to 4 over t there you go that is all of the trigonometry ratios in this triangle let's try another question with the triangle uh, with different triangle ya yeah. find the trigonometry ratio for the right triangle below oke okay, so I will find the AC first using trigonometry AC square plus 2 square equals to 4 square so I will have AC square equals to 16 minus 4 12 so I will get AC equals to square root of 12 AC equals to 2 square root of 3 ya simplified version Okay, so this one is 2 square root of 3 cm and then I told you before before we go to trigonometry ratio we have to name the side okay the first one is this one the opposite of 90 degree will be hypotenuse which is mirroring and then the opposite of the angle will be opposite which is the pan and then the rest will be something yeah After that, we can uh, find the trigonometry ratio for sine alpha equals to demi depan per miring equals to 2 square root of 3 over 4. You can cross out the 2 and the 4, half square root of 3. And then for the cos alpha, cos alpha equals to sami, samping per miring. So the samping will be 2 and the miring will be 4, ya, equals to half. And then the tan alpha, tan alpha equals to desa depan per samping 2 square root of 3 over 2 equals to, you can uh, cross out the 2 equals to square root of 3. Oke, okay, next is the additional. It will be cosecan alpha equals to mide, mide uh, berarti 4 over 2 square root of 3. You cannot leave square root of 3 in the denominator. You have to uh, rationalize it. So it will be 4 square root of 3 over 2 square root of 3 times square root of 3. 2 times 3 equals to 6. You can simplify it one more time. 2 over 3 square root of 3. So for the second alpha will be the opposite of cos. 4 over 2 equals to 2. For the cotangent alpha, the opposite of 10 it will be 2 over 2 square root of 3 you have to times it with square root of 3 square root of 3 because of the uh, square root of 3 in the denominator it will be 2 square root of 3 over um, 6 yeah. it will be 1 over 3 square root of 3 there you go okay so what is the usage of trigonometry ratio we can solve the question that you cannot solve by uh, Pythagoras theorem using trigonometry for example this questions ya yeah. so I have this 4 cm can you find AC and BC of course you cannot because you haven't learned trigonometry using trigonometry we can find AC and BC directly ya yeah, so uh, sine alpha the question give us sine sorry it's not alpha anymore it's theta ya yeah. this one is theta um, one over square root of two. Okay, I told you before. Before you begin the question, before you begin to answer, you have to name the side. Okay, so this one is the opposite of 90 degree. It will be mirroring, and this one is the opposite of the theta. It will be opposite or depan, and the rest will be something. Yeah. Uh, so we know that the sine theta, the formula for sine theta equals to the mi, right? The mi. So I can tell that the mi equals to 1 over square root of 2. So we have the mi. Uh, yeah, we have mi. Yeah, we don't have the. So I will leave the the as ac over the mi is 4 cm equals to 1 over square root of 2. We can cross multiply square root of 2 ac equals to 4. And then AC equals to 4 over square root of 2. And then we have to rationalize the square root times square root of 2 times square root of 2. The AC will be 4 square root of 2 over 2. You can cross out the 2 and the 4 equals to 2 square root of 2 centimeters. There you go. We already have AC. ya. Yeah? And then after you got AC, you can write it 
right there after that we have to find bc right we can use uh, pythagoras theorem bc square plus 2 square root of 2 square equals to c square for square so bc square plus 8 equals to 16 and then bc square equals to 8 bc equals to mm, square root of 8 so bc is also 2 square root of 2 there you go bc is also 2 square root of 2 done and then next is i want to teach you also how to determine the other trigonometry ratio from one trigonometry ratio which is given yeah so example one given that the value of sine theta in right triangle abc has its right angle sb yeah sorry with b as its right angle so i will draw the triangle first remember you have to draw the triangle yeah and then name its sides uh, b is right triangle so this one will be a this one will be c kalau ketukar nggak apa apa ya ac nya yang penting b nya harus right triangle and then the theta will be the angle of bca bca means the angle of c so theta will be right here and then we will name the sides this one will be mirroring this one will be opposite depan the rest will be samping ya yeah. and then the question give us the value of sine theta sine theta equals to 1 over 3 remember sine cos and tan is only the ratio not the actual length so i cannot say that this is depan right this is mirroring so I cannot say the depan will be 1 cm I cannot say the mirroring will be 3 cm it could be the other numbers yeah it could be 2 cm and 6 cm but the ratio is 1 over 3 so because this one is ratio I can tell that the depan will be 1x and the mirroring will be 3x so I can write it right here 3x and the depan is 1x after that I can use Pythagoras theorem to find BC yeah so uh, bc square plus x square equals to 3x square i don't have to explain about pythagoras theorem again right you already learned that equals to 9x square so bc square equals to 8x square and then we have to square root it bc equals to square root of 8x square we can simplify the square root of 8 into 2 square root of 2 and then the square root of x square will be x so bc equals to 2 square root of 2 x centimeters bc ya yeah. 2 square root of 2 x centimeters okay and then the question one us to find cos theta cos theta now we can find cos theta using the sides cos theta equals to sami guys Sami samping 2 square root of 2 x over mirroring 3 x we can cross out the x so the result will be 2 square root of 2 over 3 and then tan theta tan theta equals to desa guys desa desa means um, 1 x over something 2 square root of 2 x we can cross out the x more time and then rationalize the denominator it will be 1 over 4 square root of 2 okay next is cosecant theta cosecant theta cosecant theta is the opposite of um, sine yeah uh, so it will be mi d mi d mi 3x and then d is 1x equals to 3 and then second theta second theta equals to the opposite of um, cos ya cos is sami so second will be nisa nisa is 3x over 2 square root of 2x equals to you can cross out the x and then times it with square root of 2 over square root of 2 ya okay, like that so you will have 3 square root of 2 over 4 guys. is this correct? Me check it. 
one more time okay, i think it's correct if it is not correct you can uh, tell me ya kotangan teta kotangan teta is sade sade means 2 square root of 2x over 1x so we can cross out the x equals to 2 square root of 2 so this is kotangan teta it's done Next is example 2 given that the value of tan theta in triangle ABC so I will uh, draw the triangle first this is right angle S uh, A S is right angle so this is A this is B and this is C yeah. and theta is theta is the angle of BCA so the theta will be right here we will name the uh, side first this one is the opposite of 90 degree it will be hypotenuse that means mirroring and this is the opposite of theta that will be the pan and the rest will be something yeah and tan theta so the tan theta equals to square root of 2 okay tan theta equals to square root of 2 if the ratio of the trigonometry shows us not in fraction form we can create over one as its denominator yeah so we already know that the tan theta will be um, the pan over something right but this is the ratio guys tan theta equals to square root of 2 over 1 is the ratio so I can tell that the depan will be square root of 2x for the something will be 1x yeah so the depan will be square root 2 of x and the something will be 1x and then I can find the mirroring using uh, Pythagoras yeah so a square square root of 2x square plus b square b square is 1x square equals to c square the hypotenuse will be bc square and then after that I can uh, square it 2x square plus 1x square equals to bc square equals to 5x square equals to bc square ya yeah. and then the bc is already given at the question bc equals to 10 so I can put it into the bc bc square 10 square it will be um, 5x square equals to 100 and then x square equals to 100 divided by 520 so I will have x equals to x equals to square root of 20 yeah and then x will be 2 square root of 5 there you go and then the question want us to find ac and ab yeah okay for ac we already know that ac is 1x yeah you can take a look at the uh, triangle ac is 1x so i can write uh, ac equals to 1x equals to 1 times the x the x is 2 square root of 5 so ac will be 2 square root of 5 centimeters and then for ab ab equals to square root of 2x so ab will be square root of 2 times 2 square root of 5 the question the answer will be 2 square root of 10 centimeters so this is the length of ac and the length of ab Okay guys, this is for today. I hope you can understand it well. If you don't understand, you can ask me directly and immediately. Yeah. Thank you guys. Bye bye.